Welcome to the first video in my series of the bones of Unreal. In this series I'll be covering sockets, weapon bones, IK bones, virtual bones and possibly more topics down the line. But in this first episode, let's focus on sockets. Sockets are a foundational part of skeletons in Unreal Engine. They allow you to attach meshes and actors to other meshes and actors, both in your level and at runtime. Now to dig into sockets, I'll be using this ALS skeletal mesh. And first, let's enable the visibility of sockets in the viewport. And we can see we already have some sockets. But let's create a new one. We can do that by simply right-clicking a bone, selecting Add Socket, and then giving it a relative position, scale, and rotation relative to its parent bone. We can then name the socket, perhaps something for a specific attachment, or something more general, like a weapon. Generally, the standard Unreal directional system is for items in the world to follow the blue C axis to be along the length of the item and the red X axis to be the front of the item. For example, the blade of an axe. I already have an existing socket for a rifle in the right hand here. And we can select a preview mesh to show on the socket to see how the socket transform looks in context. The preview mesh is saved to the skeleton in editor, so to speak. So we can open animations and see how it looks in different poses and animations. The animations were made with this specific socket transform in mind, so they will all align up. Another use case for sockets is in the level viewport, where we can take any actor and attach it to the socket of a, another skeletal actor, like this. You may then want to reset the relative location so it snaps to the socket location. We have some limited interaction with sockets from code as well. Here it's relevant to keep in mind that sockets are not considered bones. So if we, for example, call this get bone parent function, it will not work with the name of a socket. But all bones are considered sockets. So we can use socket functions like this, or we can even print every single socket on a skeleton, and we'll see that it'll actually print every single bone that exists on this specific skeleton. Sockets do have some limitations. For example, we can't change the socket transform through code, and in animation blueprint and control rig, we also can't change non-bone sockets in any way. Sockets can apparently also have some latency depending on your distance to a skeletal mesh that will cause it to not move completely up to date with whatever it's attached to. I wasn't able to reproduce this myself, but it's nicely presented here by Unreal DevOps in this animation series he's done. There is, however, an alternative to sockets, which is to use unweighted invisible bones instead, which can give you more flexibility in animating, for example, weapons. I cover this in more detail in the next video in this series on weapon bones. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to see more, hit like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.